Hey guys, this is Joette with ballooncoach.com and today is July 19th, 2020. And I wanted to come on and give some great tips and hints to help you create the future that you dream of. So I want to let you know who I am in case we haven't met before. I am Joette Giardina. I am a certified balloon artist since 2008. I've been in the balloon industry full time since 2003. I am the founder of ballooncoach.com, which I started in 2015 to help give online and in-person training experiences for the balloon industry to help you grow your thriving balloon business and provide the type of training that I wish I had had back when I started my business in 2003. One of the things that's a little bit different about ballooncoach.com is I'm not just about how to make balloons, but I wanna help you create the life that you dream of. And that's not just about how to make really pretty balloons, but it's how to sell the balloons and be profitable so that you can create the schedule that you want for your life and your family. So I currently serve as the marketing manager and balloon shop manager for party people events in Auburndale, Florida. I live at my home in Lakeland, Florida. And uh, most of what I do for party people now is actually done pretty much virtually. And our team takes care of the rest, which is pretty awesome. I'm glad that Jonathan Gerber um, bought my company back in 2015 to allow me to be ballooncoach.com. And it's fun to be a part of a team that serves our clients and get to still be the face of the company while helping you grow your company. It's the best of both worlds. So tonight what we're gonna talk about is if you don't know where you're going, you're gonna wind up someplace else. Let me say that one more time. If you don't know where you're going, you might wind up someplace else. So for those of you who are on with me joining live, feel free to use the chat box and just type in yes or no if you, on this. Have you ever planned a summer road trip or a weekend away and not planned out how you were gonna get there, not knowing what that route is? So yes, I've planned a trip and not known where I was going, or no, I've never planned out a trip without knowing where I'm going, so yes or no. <laughs> All right, so last summer, my husband and I got into our car, actually a rental car, and we traveled for me to teach in nine different states around the United States from Florida to the West Coast and back. So for that trip, we knew where we were going because we had deadlines that we had to meet. Like I had to be in Atlanta on a certain day and I had to be in St. Louis to teach on another day. And then I had to be in Kansas and Denver, Seattle, LA, um, Let's see, where else did I go? We went to Dallas, New Orleans, and Florida, and I may have missed a couple in between. But as we were going on that trip, we had to have a very specific route that we were taking so that we could get to where we needed to go on time. So um, I know um, Stacy's putting on that she used to do some random travel drives where you were just go and not have a plan and that's so much fun when you have time and you can do that it is kind of fun to just go hmm let me just see where the road takes me today a friend of mine told me that her family trips they often will see random billboards on the street and um, they'll just go off on a tour and they'll say oh look there's a candy factory over there let's go for a tour today and that's kind of built into their family vacation of having time to have those side trips but what i'm going to talk about today is how you can really work on focusing in on growing your thriving balloon business by defining your goals, setting up an action plan, and creating a vision board. So I don't want those things to sound scary to you, but those are the three things that we're gonna talk about tonight. Defining our goals, setting up an action plan, and creating a vision board so that we can use the law of attraction to help us get where we wanna go. So the number one thing I'd like you to do is if you have a pen and paper with you, I want you to write this down. I want you to actually write down what is your why. And if you wanna share it with the group, feel free to type it in to our messages also. So what I'd like to know is why did you choose to be a small business owner? You know, most people don't take that step and become a business owner. Most of the people that I know 
are, um, or I used to know, I should say, because now pretty much everybody knows is a business owner, but it used to be the people that I hung out with, they had a job that they clocked in from nine to five and they did their job and then they went home. My husband, my husband's a teacher. He goes to work in the morning as a teacher and then he comes back and then he's got his evening, you know, he has to grade papers and stuff, but then, you know, typically his evenings and weekends are to his own. Um, my mom, she worked for a bank. She was a vice president of a bank. So that was definitely a job you didn't bring home with you. My dad was a pilot. And even though that was a really cool job that you got to adventure and have fun, it was you went in, you took your plane, you went where you're supposed to go, you came back, and then you had your time off to do other things. So my question is, what is your why? Why did you choose to become a business owner. And I'll give you a little bit of an example to help you out. My why in 2003 was that my daughter Marley was four years old and my husband was a teacher and I wanted to have a flexible schedule and replace the income that I had as a social worker. I was totally burnt out, okay? Um, there's no right or wrong answer to what your why is. Everyone has a different situation and a different why, and no one's why is more important than someone else's. So the top picture there by the octopus is Jonathan Gerber. And Jonathan is one of those people that I think of as a balloon boss. He does his business. He has party people events and he's bought four different balloon companies throughout Central Florida because his why is he wants to have more time with his family. Paul and Gail here in our ice tunnel, their why is they retired from being nurses and now they love creating balloons to have the income that they need to continue to have their lifestyle they want. But Gail absolutely loves how balloons transform a space. Stuart Davies, he took over a family business and helped transform it from being just like a place that you came in and bought different things to now being this really cool balloon business. Tommy and Scott DeLorenzo in Chicago, they love balloons. Tommy absolutely loves how balloons can transform a space. And now he has a team that creates that balloon decor to help him build a house out of balloons and have a fun lifestyle with vacations. And then Cody Williams of Cody's Red Balloons there on the bottom right, his goal several years ago was to be able to work full time to leave his job as a florist and designer and to be able to buy his home and have a business that he loves. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna actually be quiet for a minute. And I want you to think that you and I are walking on the beach. <laughs> and I want you to think about what is the why. And it may have changed from when you first started in the industry. So right now, as of today, as you're watching this, what is your why? Why do you own your business? What do you want from it, from being a business owner? So I'm going to be quiet and I want you to write your why and then feel free to type it in also. All right, so if you would like to share, I would love for you to type into our chat, for those of you who are joining us live, why you started your balloon business. So Martha said that she was fed up with the corporate world and wanted to do something fun. Way to go, Martha. Linda wanted flexibility and a higher income potential. Stephanie says that her first corporate job went out of business, leaving her without a job and decided she never wanted someone else to decide her fate or income source. So now she loves the ability to work towards a goal and to achieve it and the flexibility that it gives her for her family. Stacy says that her why now is her daughter Olivia and her special care needs. 
when she was younger, it was a way to be creative and make an income and allowed her to travel and make money anywhere she lived. I love it. Leticia says to generate additional income and to provide for my family. Awesome. These are great whys. Thank you so much for sharing them with me. So the thing is, is knowing your why is so important and to reconnect with it from time to time because over the years, our circumstances, our lives, situations may change. So our whys may change. So I encourage you that every six months to a year, you kind of look back at this and go, why am I doing what I'm doing? Is that still applicable? And am I creating the business that I really originally dreamed of? And now I have someone tell me that, you know what, I don't know my why, and it's a little bit troubling. You know what, that's why we're doing this. Because I have found out that sometimes people don't know why they're in business, and then it makes it harder for them to define their goals and to come up with a schedule that they want and it's something that they enjoy. So I'm gonna help you through those next steps. For those that aren't really exactly sure what they want from their business, we're gonna work through that. So here's the thing. I want to encourage you to dream big. So I'd love for you who are on with me right now to answer yes or no to this next question. Have you ever had someone crush your dreams? So yes, if you've had somebody crush your dreams or no, if you've not, but have you ever said something like, I'm going to lose 200 pounds and people say, no, that's not possible. Or you say, you know what? I'm going to run my own business. And people say, you're not business savvy. You don't know anything about business. Or like my dad, I told him that I was running a balloon company and he said, I would never pay for balloons. That doesn't make any sense. I don't get it at all. And then next step further is when I told him, well, dad, I've sold my balloon business and now I'm going to be a business coach for the balloon industry and help other people grow their balloon business. And he's like, I don't get it. Like people will pay you for that. Like he didn't even understand our industry exists, let alone that I can make a living from helping other people build their business. All right. So I've got people saying, yes, they have had people step on their dreams before. I haven't had anybody say no. <laughs> All right. So what I want to let you guys understand that there is not this magic aura that I have around me where my life has just been handed to me on a silver platter and everything's been perfect. When I have come up with ideas like, I'm gonna have a balloon business and I want to build ballooncoach.com, I've had people, even within my family and my support team, tell me it's not possible, okay? Um, so I want you to think about this for a second. When you're in a situation and someone tells you no, or they try to crush your dreams, do you listen to them and believe them that nope, your dreams aren't possible? Like, does it just crush you and make you stop? Or does it make you want to continue to prove them wrong? All right, so I want you to think about that for a second and write it down on your paper. What I want you to say is when someone crushes my dreams, I feel blank. Okay, so I want you to write that on your paper. When someone crushes my dreams, I feel blank. And so my question is, are you like me and you're determined that you're going to prove them wrong? Ariel just put that on hers. Ariel just posted, I always want to prove them wrong. Martha says it makes her feel challenged. So I'm going to tell you guys a story. I run a program every year in November in Orlando. And, um, it started with me running a program where David Mahoney came and he taught, I taught for one day and he taught for one day um, in Orlando. Then um, the next time I went to Chicago for two years and taught with balloons by Tommy, which was so much fun. And us putting together the Chicago pride parade. And then Jonathan Gerber had come to that event, loved it so much said, Hey, let's put on a workshop here to put on a parade um, in Orlando. And we, within three months, did that. And people thought I was crazy. My husband was like, there's no way you're going to get people. And within three months, we were able to get a group of people to come and do that event. And it was a blast. So then when I started doing my retreat and now Balloon Boss Pro Summit, I always set the goal as I wanted to sell out and I would set a number. And one of the people on my staff, plus my husband would say, there's no way that you're going to sell out that event. And that gave me a challenge. It was like, yes, I'm going to prove them wrong. And so now my husband kind of has it as a side joke that he's like, you know what? 
I'm going to continue to doubt you because every time I doubt you, you prove me wrong. But for some people, that is not how it affects them. Sometimes if you're in a situation where somebody doubts you or tells you you can't do something, you internalize it, you believe it, you take it personally, and you say, you're right, I can't. So I want you to take this time to write down on your paper to know what it does to you. If it challenges you <clears throat> and makes you want to prove them wrong, or is it something where you believe them and then sometimes it stops you from taking the next step. So I want you to identify that with you yourself because it's really important to know that. And if you're a person that other people have determined for you your worth and have told you that you can't make something happen and you've believed them in the past, I'm going to encourage you to come hang out with me. Because one of the biggest things that I love to do is to help empower people to have the self-confidence, the knowledge, and the skills to move ahead with whatever that big dream is you have. Because from my life experiences and from working side by side with other business owners, I have seen people time and time again, not only meet their dreams, but exceed them even quicker than they had expected when they set out and went for it. So um, Leslie's telling me that she sometimes gets upset at first, but then eventually will pick herself up and go after it. Awesome. I love that. And it's okay. It's okay to get upset. Believe me, guys, there's a ton of times where I cry. There's a ton of times where I break down and have a bad day. But at the end of that, I always seem to find a way to pick myself back up and to keep moving forward. And so I'm so glad you guys are here to talk about it. So as you dream big on your future, I want you to write with me right now. I want to act like you and I are on the beach. This was done when I was in Daytona at the beach. My daughter used to live in Daytona. <clears throat> Great excuse to go to the beach, right? I also would go there to do different balloon jobs from time to time and then stay over and go on the beach because for me, my place of inspiration is to wake up in nature, preferably in the beach or the woods by water <laughs> and watch the sunrise. That to me every single time makes me see the world as unlimited potential. So right now I want you in your head as a creative person to imagine yourself on the beach with me right now. We're sitting down at the chair, whether you prefer sunrise or sunset, whichever one speaks to you. And I want you to dream big and write down on the piece of paper what you want over the next six months from your balloon business? What's your why? Is it that you're wanting freedom so that you have a flexible work schedule? Is it because you wanna determine your own income and you have a certain number that you wanna reach? Are you wanting to be able to work from anywhere? And as Stacy said, you know, we can do balloons almost anywhere on the planet. Is it that you're wanting more time with your family? Are you wanting opportunities to travel? Um, are you needing to work on your kid's college fund or maybe private school? Is it that you want vacation money? And if it's vacation money, where do you want that vacation money to take you? Is it that you're wanting money for Christmas gifts? And what is it that you want to buy for your family and friends? Is it that you have a balloon business because you want to use your creativity, um, to use your creative talent, to enjoy making people happy? You want to work with your hands? Is it that you want to develop a company that you want to grow a business that allows other people to have jobs that they enjoy and make money to make their dreams reality? Is it that you want to invest in something so in the future you can sell the business to be able to go off and do whatever you want? Or is it in the big future that you want to just hire a manager for your business to run your company and allow you to still make money off of that to go enjoy and do other things? So right now it's you and I sitting on the beach at sunrise or sunset, you get to pick. And I want you to write down on your paper these type of things about what you want. So I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna let you write. And then if there's something that you want to share, feel free to put it in the chat box.
All right. So I would love for you guys, if you have a couple of fun things that you want to share, I'd love for you to share it. You don't have to, it's totally up to you. This is your personal journey. Um, but we've got one that says they want to do something that they enjoy. I love that. Here's the thing with the balloon industry. By meeting people who are balloon professionals around the world, I have found that there is so many different ways to make money with balloons. You can either do it where you're creating a really hard job for yourself, <laughs> where you're working insane hours, not getting any sleep or time with your family or social life, or you can create systems to build a dynamic business and be like David Mahoney or Jonathan Gerber, who has a team of people who can run the business for them, even when they're not there. So I want to let you know that if you're newer to the industry or you've been in it a while and you've just kind of been in the trenches and not been aware of what else is going on out there, I want to let you know that there are opportunities for you to grow a dynamic business where you train other people to do key components of your business or even all of them, and you can still make an income from it. So I want you to, again, dream big and you don't have to write everything down now, but later on this evening, come back to this and I want you to keep writing why it is that you have your business and what you want from it. So now we're going to talk about mindset. Mindset is the number one thing that is going to make the difference between you achieving your dreams and you not. Okay. I'm going to say that one more time. Mindset is the number one thing that's going to determine whether you achieve your goals or not. So many other things can happen around you, but if you keep your mindset on a growth mindset, your life will change. So this is the way I define the two. When you have a growth mindset, failure is an opportunity to grow. All right. So that kind of sounds counter <laughs> if you're fixed, because with a fixed mindset, failure is the limit of my abilities. And what I have found is many times people who are creatives, who are passionate about what they do, and they love helping people have these very special moments, is sometimes what happens is if we have some type of failure, we internalize it and we take it personally and we think, oh, I'm not good enough. But what I want to encourage you is any time over the next six months, year, five years, 10 years, as you grow your business, anytime you have a failure or a problem that comes up, have a growth mindset and look at it as an opportunity to grow and learn. So with a growth mindset, we think I can learn to do anything I want. Even if you don't like numbers, <laughs> you can learn to understand them. Challenges help me grow. My effort, and uh, my effort and attitude determine my abilities. Feedback is constructive and helpful. I'm inspired by the success of others, and I like to try new things. That's a growth mindset. A fixed mindset often thinks I'm either good at it or I'm not. My abilities are unchanging. I can either do it or I can't. I don't like to be challenged. When I'm frustrated, I give up. And feedback and criticism are personal, and I stick to what I know. So if you find that some of those fixed mindset are a tendency that you tend to have or something you kind of sometimes go back to because of the way you were raised, I'm going to really challenge you over the next six months to have a growth mindset. And when you feel yourself bogged down with those negative thoughts and that you can't get something done or that you're going to give up, I want you to go back to that growth mindset that you're gonna try new things and that you are gonna be inspired by other people's success to keep moving forward. So the next step I wanna do is I want to encourage you to create a vision board over the next week, okay? A vision board I have found works really great for creatives who like to visualize and see things for the future. When you create a vision board, it can be as simple as going onto your computer and researching the things you like, grabbing those images and putting them into a document and printing it. Or for people who want to be super creative, some of you can draw your dreams, right? And you can draw the things that you want. 
or you can cut out if you happen to have old magazines uh, and put them together. So I kind of did a combination here where some of this is old magazines and other parts are words that I just typed up on my computer and um, cut out and put on here of things that I wasn't able to find in a magazine. But when you create a vision board, it allows you to put those things that you're wanting for the future down in a way that you can see it visually every day to know when you wake up and you face struggles, what it is that you're working towards. So a vision board is a simple but yet powerful visualiz visualization tool to help you manifest your dreams into reality by activating the law of attraction. And it really works. So if you've not participated in a vision board before, and if you've never heard of the law of attraction, write it down in your notes, law of attraction. And I want you to go on and Google it. Um, basically with the law of attraction, it talks about like when you think about wanting to buy a new car and now everywhere you drive, that kind of car is the only thing you see. It's because you're thinking about that car where in the past you haven't thought about it. So you haven't seen it. So when you put things on your vision board of the things that you want for the future, it helps things just kind of roll into place and for those things to naturally align with your um, world. So I love this quote from Henry Ford, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. I'm gonna say that one more time. Whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. So going back to that whole mindset thing, is I really encourage you that tonight you take some extra time after we're done talking to write down in your notebook or in a journal and to work on creating a vision board within the next week so that you have a tool to look at to see what you want for your future so you can help make it happen. So, you know, again, that law of attraction, um, what you think starts a vibration that influences how you feel. So this impacts what you attract and creates your reality. So you need to choose your thoughts wisely. So going back to that growth mindset versus the fixed mindset, if you're thinking, oh, I cannot accomplish this goal um, due to COVID, due to social distancing, my financial goals will not happen then you know what, that's what you're gonna attract. You're gonna attract people who aren't gonna to wanna to pay for your services. But instead, if you go, wow, in the midst of social distancing, people want to make their loved ones feel special more now than ever. Man, the potential for me to earn an income has increased with balloons. And then you know what? You're gonna be just like some of my mastermind members who last year in June, went from $11,000 in sales to this year in June, went to $30,000 in sales. In the midst of COVID, in the midst of a pandemic and social distancing, their monthly sales for the month of June tripled. I know so many balloon professionals who have been kicking it and doing amazing with their business because they pivoted the way they did things. And instead of getting down and saying, oh, I'm not gonna be able to make money, they figured out a way to make money and they put those positive things out there. They went after their clients and it's happening. So Cody with Cody's red balloons is one of the examples I've used in the past for a person who wrote a vision board, even though he wasn't really sure that it was something that it could work. Okay. <laughs> he was at our event in Chicago uh, for doing the parade workshop. And he said that he wanted to have a van he wanted to work his business full time and he wanted to have a house rather than rent. And then last summer, I actually got to go hang out with him while I was on my nine state teaching tour. I stayed in his home. He had just returned from his first vacation, non-balloon related to go see the fireworks in New York. He had the van, had the car, works his business full time and is doing great. And those are all things that he had written on his vision board two years before. That's how I know that these things really work. So I'm gonna let you be creative for a few more minutes and I want you to write a bucket list. If you've never done this before, go ahead and write now and tell me right now, yes, I have a bucket list or nope, I've never done this before. 
what a bucket list is. It's a really fun movie if you haven't seen it. A bucket list is the things that you want to do before you die. So this really fun movie that I watched um, was about two gentlemen who were in the hospital and had found out that they were going to die. And so they came up with a bucket list of things that they wanted to do. And so they went and traveled and had all these amazing adventures together. So what I want to think about is what are the things that you would love to do if there were no limitations, if there was no time constraints, no money constraints, what are the things that would lift you up and make you feel awesome? And this is an area where sometimes people get stuck because sometimes we're so busy living in our current reality that we can't even visualize having time to go do something we enjoy, let alone having the money to do the things we can enjoy. So I'll give you an example. My family enjoys traveling and we like the outdoors. So this summer we went on a trip and we went and rented an Airbnb on a lake that had kayaks. And we got to get up every morning and go kayaking. And then I had a balloon friend, Amanda, and her husband come with their kayaks and we got to all kayak together. And it was just this amazing thing. And part of the reason we got to go kayaking is I finally had lost over a hundred pounds and I was light enough to be able to sit in the kayak because before I was not able to, because I was over the weight limit of being in a kayak. So back when I was 200 pounds overweight, being able to do a lot of the physical things that I love to do seemed like it was unrealistic. I also had met my husband at an outdoor education facility where he and I used to teach rappelling and rock climbing and outdoor adventures and camping and hug a tree and all those kind of things. But over the years after having my daughter, I had gained even more weight and I was over the weight limit to be able to go on zip lines and do fun things like that. So while on our trip, at the end of our time at our Airbnb, my husband, my daughter, and I went on an 11 zip line course zip line and three rappels and a bridge. It was so awesome because I finally was under the weight limit to be able to safely go and have that amazing adventure. So what I want you to think about is, are there places you want to travel to? Are there activities that you want to do? What are those things that would make you feel good? Or what are things that you've done in the past that made you happy? Who are the people you were with when you did those? And write those things down. So Lou has a bucket list. Um, but this year it got a hole in it. <laughs> so yeah, so let's put that hole back on there <laughs> and keep filling that bucket list. All right, Stacy's got a short one. And cool, it doesn't have to be super extensive. But I would love for you just to think about what are those things that you would like to do? And I'm not going to make you guys do it for 10 minutes now, but I want you to write that down in your notes that you're going to spend 10 minutes of quiet time and think of offlandish things that you may have not even realized that you want to do. And if you're one of those people that you're still not sure what it is, go online and Google images of travels. Go see places that your friends have gone on vacation and go, oh yeah, I'd like to go there. Or maybe it's that there's just some people that you want to spend some extra time with and it's okay to dream big. And it's also to be small. It can be that you just want to make time in your day to be able to do crafts once a week. It doesn't have to be outlandish things. A bucket list can just be simple things that bring you joy and happiness. Okay. So I want to have a yes. If you agree that within the next 24 hours, you will write a bucket list and spend 10 minutes thinking about this. So I just need a quick commitment from you that yes, you will work on writing a bucket list. All right, thank you. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so thinking about what are the things that you really want to happen above all else, and then I want you to think about when you create this vision board, and it doesn't have to be as crafty as mine. It could be that you're just writing words. It could be that you just state some goals, but where will you display it so that you see it daily? Mine sits right here by my computer. I have a double computer screen and it's right here. So every morning when I wake up, I see what's on here and I'll go ahead and share some of mine just to kind of help you guys out. One of mine says, welcome to the new home with a heart. And it's a picture of a kitchen because I want to earn the money I need to remodel our kitchen because our kitchen cabinets are old and like um, 
part of the counters are pulling apart. So we, we need a new kitchen and my husband loves to cook. Um, so I want him to have a nice space. Um, I have on here that I lost 150 pounds. I'm right now at 170. I'm sorry, 107. My goal is to be at a full 200 pounds, but I'm making that um, step off goal that I want to get to my next big is 150. And so I have words on here like the joy of travel because I absolutely love to travel. I have fuel and good foods because I want to make sure that I'm using food to fuel my body that makes me healthy and keeps me moving forward. And that I'm going to exercise to be fit, not to be skinny. I'm eating to nourish my body and I'm going to ignore the haters, doubters, and unhealthy examples that are around me. And I wrote you are worth more than you realize. Okay. Because sometimes it's really easy to just listen to the haters. It's really easy to listen to the negative. And, um, I got other quotes on here, like courage and strength, family, fresh ideas and take action thrive. So anything that you want, oh, and I have a new vehicle because I want to get my husband a new car. So what you do and what you put on your is totally personal. But by looking at this every day, when I wake up sometimes and I'm not motivated to work, <laughs> when I'm wondering what I'm doing, looking at that reminds me why I do what I do. Oh, Shannon says that she liked to see where she was born in Germany. That sounds amazing, Shannon. I love it. So on the back of your board, I want you to write my email address, joette at ballooncoach.com. And I'd love to hear from you 90 days from now, and then also one year from today. So write today's date on it. So put that on the back of your vision board. My email address, joette at ballooncoach.com, the date when you put your vision board together, and then touch base with me 90 days from then and a year from then to let me know how things are going because it's so exciting for me when I hear from other people on how their goals are doing. And I want you to re review the board daily. It doesn't have to be like you memorize it, but just look at it and go, okay, yeah, today, I'm gonna do my personal best. Today, I'm gonna wake up and do my personal best and that's good enough. By the way, side note, the only competition that you have is you looking in the mirror and comparing yourself to where you were yesterday, okay? We don't need to compare ourselves to other people's goals, to other people's dreams, to other people's journeys and their successes. The only competition you have is looking yourself in the mirror daily and looking at making progress from yesterday and taking that next step today, okay? So I wanna be real clear about that. Vision boards is not a competition. Goal setting is not a competition. It's about us creating our best life. So I had a blast making vision boards with a group of friends a couple of years ago, and then we recorded it for my Balloon Boss Mastermind group. And that was all of our different things. And one of the people here in the middle, actually these two ladies um, to the left of the person in the pink, they both um, have food truck businesses now. And so it's really fun to see how they have um, made their dreams reality um, because they didn't have all that set up at the time. So another thing that I want to talk to you guys about that sometimes is hard for creative people is creating your schedule for success, all right? So we're gonna have our big dreams, we're gonna know what we want for the future, but now what we've gotta do is make it reality. And the way we make it reality is that the irony of scheduling your day is that it makes you more flexible and not less. I'm going to say that one more time. The irony of scheduling your day is that it makes you more flexible, not less. So many times people say, <laughs> so many times people say that a schedule is too many constraints and it doesn't allow them to be free form and thinking. But honestly, what's really cool is since COVID and I had to leave the party people event store to come home to work and I've been working my marketing manager job from home and then helping support you all in Balloon um, Boss Mastermind and in Balloon Coach community. What I have found over these last months is that I invested a lot of money in training. And I wanted to walk the walk that I ask other people to do. I tell everybody else to invest in your training so that you can go faster and stronger, right? And surround yourself by like-minded people that inspire you. So I've done that and I'm in two memberships now. And those memberships are full of business people who are just 
rocking their goals and their businesses and they're growing and they're thriving. And one of the number one things that our instructors have taught us is that when you create a schedule, which I've been talking about this for years, um, so it's nice to hear that what I'm doing is correct and I just need to enhance it a little bit, is when we create a daily schedule and we do what's called time blocking. Okay, so write that down, time blocking. Time blocking allows you to get your energy focused in on one thing and have that goal happen, okay? Let me see if my next slide is what I think it is. All right. So what I wanna do real quick is I want to show you guys where you can get some inspiration, okay? So, um, Stacy just put down balloon coach or life coach. Hmm. <laughs> um, she has realized as a creative that she has to have a complimentary person on her staff that makes the task work and organizing. I love that. Jonathan Gerber, um, teaching at our retreat and at Balloon Boss Pro Summit and um, when he's done other webinars for people and teaching, he talks about that you want to make sure that you work in your strengths and you hire your weaknesses. So one of the things I want to talk to you guys about is the balloon boss mindset. Okay, so write that down, balloon boss mindset. If you find yourself that you got into the balloon industry because you want to be creative and you want to be helpful and fun and make pretty things with balloons, that's awesome. But I'm going to challenge you to step past that and I want you to become a boss. And believe me, I never thought that I was going to be a boss, okay? I enjoy supervising people and helping and encouraging people, but I had gotten into this just to kind of be able to do my own free thing, right? But what I found is when I hired my first people to work for me, it made my life so much easier because I was able to work in my strengths, which my strengths are marketing. I love going out and meeting people. I love being a master connector and networking people with other people that can help them out. And then when one of those things is that, that person's planning an event and party people events can make their event amazing, that I'm like over the top excited. Then when I see our team doing the job and making our clients happen, it's just like snowball effect and just makes me super pumped up. But there are parts of being a business owner that I don't enjoy doing. So by having other people do those things, like going back and organizing the inventory in my warehouse, I built a 600 square foot warehouse in my backyard. So I had an at-home mom who just needed extra money. And so she came and worked for me and her job every Monday was to clean up the mess that was made over the weekend from all the jobs. She popped the balloons, she put the frames up, she put the balloons back where they're at, let me know what we were low on so I could order new stuff while I was out networking and selling to our clients. And it was this great teamwork okay so balloon boss i want you guys to know that on my website at the top right there's this little button that takes you to youtube and when you go to youtube if you have not seen the free webinar that was transformation in the midst of uncertainty you need to go and watch this because it is amazing all right um my wonderful friend Oops, sorry, I'm trying to get to the right place. There we go. Stuart Davies and um, is from Wales. And over the last few months, he has lost 35 pounds. He has also totally transformed his business. The storefront has totally been remodeled and painted to make his front of his business look amazing. So he talked about transformation in the midst of uncertainty, that yes, in the midst of this crazy social distancing, that he's changed the way his body looks and he's changed the way his business looks. And both of those things are helping him grow. So if you've not seen that yet, I want you to know that it's here, all right? The other thing that I want you guys to know about is that I have a blog and in my blog, it gives you tips and tricks to a lot of amazing things about the balloon industry. So you can click on here and see other information that's there for you guys at your fingertips 24 seven. All right. So the reason I share this information with you guys is that I know sometimes that as we're going and we have a boss mindset and we're not sure if we're a boss yet, Having the knowledge of what other people have done and how they've gone about it helps us make our goals reality. So I wanted to let you guys know that that information's there and that if you are wanting help 
to grow your business. I have a program that's called Balloon Boss Mastermind. Several of the folks who are on with me tonight are part of that group. Balloon Boss Mastermind is a way for you to hang out with like-minded people who will cheer you on as you move forward in your business. All right. So you go to ballooncoach.com and you click start today if you're not in it yet. And for the first month, it's just $47. And then after that, it's $97 a month. I should be charging $297 a month for this program with the way I have it structured and the interaction that I have in the group. And I can say that because I pay for other programs myself that I'm in with coaching, that I get less interaction with the person who is doing the training <laughs> than I give to my clients. So I just want to let you know that that membership is available and ready for you, but the doors are closing on August 3rd because on August 3rd, I am starting our first 90 day thrive challenge. So I want to talk about a challenge and I want to talk about you guys, even if you're not in my mastermind program, how you can kind of participate in that. So has anybody here ever gone to work out and had either a gym membership or a personal trainer for fitness. So I want you to write that down that yes, I've had a trainer or yes, I've gone to a gym or you know, no. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about this whole boot camp because I'm inspired by it because again, I'm on this journey. I've lost 107 pounds so far. I still have 93 to go. And the thing is, is I realized that I was at a certain point the last month, I've kind of been on vacation mode where I was enjoying sweet treats. We went to a, a second vacation for the summer before Brian goes back to teaching and I ate fudge and I had ice cream, but we also ate healthy food for our regular meals. Um, but I also wasn't exercising as regularly as I had been in the past. And I decided, you know what? I need to kick it up a level because I want to strengthen my muscles. I want to tone my body and I want to personally not have to have a lot of surgery after my weight loss. So to be able to do that, I know that I know about working out and I know about muscle groups, but I'm not an expert in it. So I decided I wanted to invest in a personal trainer. So now every Tuesday and Thursday morning at 5 a.m., I'll be going to the gym to have somebody kick my butt, give me a plan and tell me what I need to do to really get my body where I want it to be. So I admitted that I don't know everything about working out. I mean, can I DIY it and do it myself and watch some YouTube stuff and go walk the neighborhood? Yeah, I could, but I'm not going to have the results as quick as I want. And I plan to be on stage in November for Balloon Boss Pro Summit. And I want to be looking better than I was last year. So I've got three months to make that happen. So because I have a short time frame of and a goal that I want to meet, plus I have the long within the next two years to have that other 93 pounds off, I decided that I wanted to have a coach to help me get there because I want the results faster and I want to have better results than if I tried to do it by myself, okay? So that is what Balloon Boss Mastermind is about. The reason I do group coaching is I found that for a lot of people to set up a one-to-one -one session to hang out with me for an hour was not always available for them financially or within their schedule. But to come hang out with me in a group coaching session and be able to hear, oh, here's my motivation for today and here's the tip and what I need to do. Or, okay, it's midnight and I'm going to do a takedown. I can go listen to a replay on something on marketing that that fit into people's schedules. I found out through doing one-to-one -one coaching in the balloon industry that I was telling people the exact same thing over and over again, just different people. And I was like, why don't I put this in a system to make it more concise to go, hey, go point A, point B, point C. So the reason I tell you guys to write down your vision for the future and to dream big is what I found is the people who didn't know what their goals are and why they had their business, they just kind of kept meandering around and not having a structure. So we have our goals created from our dreams. So the next thing I want you guys to do is I want to help you write down your goals. Okay. So I'm going to define that for you guys real quick. A goal is something that has a time limit. <laughs> All right. And it's very specific. So when you have a dream of, I want to lose 93 pounds. Okay. Now to bring that down, I'm going to have a time limit that I want to lose 10 more pounds 
before November. All right, so I'm gonna break down that big goal into a smaller goal. And now what I'm gonna say is I want to increase my muscle mass, right? So I have to measure it. So when I go on Tuesday, they're gonna do my measurements and they're gonna see where I'm at currently, right? And they're gonna see what my weight is. And then now we can go back and every 30 days, look at that and see where we're at. So that's what we're gonna do in our businesses that with Balloon Boss Mastermind, I'm gonna be doing a 90 day thrive challenge. Because all these trainings that I've been going to over the last several months, one of the things that they talk about on the top is that your daily routine, having a morning schedule and setting up something for a 90 day challenge is the way that most people will see success quickly. And rather than just kind of meandering around and just kind of checking out all the stuff that I've made for five years, I'm going to give people starting tomorrow in my boot camp a very specific task each day. And then starting August 3rd for 90 days, we're gonna have a very specific program that we work together, no matter if you're brand new to the business or you've been in the industry for years. We're gonna have step-by-step -step things that you can put into your schedule each day for 10, 15 minutes. They're gonna help you have proven results. So our challenge is going to help you out with setting your goals. So number one, you've gotta define those dreams that you want, right? And what I'm gonna ask you guys to do now is this evening and tomorrow morning, because sometimes when we wake up with our fresh um, sleep, our brains work a little bit better, I want you to start a journal. So if you don't have one yet, you can just go to Walmart, you can buy it online, or just use a spiral notebook if you need. But I want you to create a journal that you're gonna use over the next two weeks for boot camp and the next 90 days if you're in our challenge, right? And I want you to each day when you wake up in the morning, write down what you're grateful for. Because all the thought leaders talk about the way to have a magical day is to start with being grateful for something, even in the midst of tragedy, even if you are struggling with medical, even if you have had family loss, even if you've had money issues. If each morning you wake up and you are grateful for something, you will have a different mindset and you'll be able to focus on that growth mindset rather than on that fixed mindset. The next thing that I want you guys to do is define specifically what it is you want to accomplish from your day. And so for those people who are in my Balloon Boss Mastermind program, we have a schedule for success. And I ask you to time block things out. So what I'm going to do real quick is turn this part off. All right. When you do time blocking, it's saying that there is time for you because you're important. So right now, I want you guys who are on with me live, I want you to tell me how many meals a day do you sit down at a table and actually eat? <laughs> how many meals a day do you sit down at a table and actually eat? And I know this sounds like it has nothing to do with balloons, but it does. Because what happened is when I started my balloon business, I did this so that I could be that really cool at-home mom and have meals prepared on the table. And instead, if my husband wanted to eat, he had to cook it or he picked it up at the drive-thru on the way home from work, right? Um, and no, it doesn't have to be with another person. <laughs> so what I encourage you to do is for some of you to be able to get some balance in your life and to be able to have the energy you need for your business is making sure that you actually plan time in your day to eat the food that nourishes your body, all right? Um, so part of ballooncoach.com is I am not just about balloons, I'm about holistic. And last year I took a risk and from the stage I had Kelly Andrews who is a health coach and a personal development trainer and she helps large companies um, work on their communication skills and everything. She does yoga. And she was a big part of our training program. And what's really wild to me is to now look back and realize how important it was that we had focused on stress management and on breathing and about being a balloon boss is about taking care of ourselves. So right now in your time blocking, you are going to put in time for you to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> and if it's that you're on the road or in your office, then you're going to pack it in a cooler and you're going to have your breakfast, your lunch, or your dinner in that ice chest with you. And if you have a refrigerator, well, put it there. 
but now carve out time each day in your time blocking schedule and your schedule for success for you to eat. Why? Because when you eat, <laughs> it allows your body and your mind to work for you to be able to focus your energy on your time blocks. Okay. So that's number one, putting time out for yourself. Number two, what is your morning routine? If you have kids who are young, I understand your morning routine can be totally chaotic. So I'm going to give you a challenge. I'm going to encourage you to wake up early or stay up later so that when your house is asleep, you have time for you. Or it might be during nap time that you do stuff for yourself. On your time blocking, pick one time of the day that's for you. So for me, I'm starting a new schedule. I'll be getting up so that I can be at the gym on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 a.m. so that I can go meet with my coach. And then when I come home, I will then write in my journal and then I'll have my breakfast. That's gonna be my thing. And on the days that I'm not at the gym, my goal is to be up and at them by seven, but I'm really gonna work Monday through Friday to be up at five working on my journal and then scheduling my exercise either first thing in the morning or later in the afternoon for like Zumba classes, like tomorrow morning, I have a 10 o'clock class. So schedule that time for you to exercise, whether it's you just standing in your house with the music on doing something, if it's walking around your neighborhood to get fresh air, come up with a schedule where you're taking care of you with the food that you're eating and the things with exercises. Can others see what's being shared? Um, if you put it down for, um, instead of all panelists and attendees and you put it to all panelists, then only I will see it. Great question. Um, so the thing that I encourage you guys to do is in your schedule every day, you've got time for you to eat. You've got time for you to do something special for yourself from quiet time and journaling to exercise. And then the next thing I want you to put on your schedule for you is sleep. Right now, how many hours of sleep do you get? If you can type it in, if you wanna share, is it that you're getting one hour of sleep? Are you getting five hours of sleep? Are you getting eight? They recommend that you should get seven to eight hours of sleep at night. I know sometimes as people get older that they need a little bit less. Um, but you need to find out what your magic number is. Sometimes people as a balloon boss, as a balloon business owner, they have it like a badge of honor, like I went 48 hours without sleep. That's not good. That's how you get into car accidents because you're gonna fall asleep at the wheel. How do I know about that? Because I know a balloon professional on New Year's Eve who actually did fall asleep at the wheel going from one job to another because they'd had no sleep. So it's really important for you to block out that time into your day for sleep. So here's the thing, we're all given 24 hours a day, every day. The things that you need to put on your schedule and your time blocking is a time for you to eat, a time for you to sleep, a time for you to do some type of movement, whether it's exercise, stretching, to just strengthen your core. Because as balloon professionals, what we do is very physically active. We're lifting helium tanks, we're lifting base paints, we're tying balloons over and over again, doing even just basic stretching. That stuff's important. So that's part of your time blocking. Now, your next part of your time blocking is a time to do that stuff you hate to do. And I encourage you to do it as early in the day as you feel that you function well, okay? If you're not a morning person, then don't put your hardest task at six o'clock in the morning. If you know that you're not awake and really moving well till 10 a.m., then that's when you put it down, okay? So the next thing I want you to do is to time block every day that one thing that you keep putting off, okay? Whether it's bookkeeping, whether it's social media posts, whether it's picking up the phone and following up with people who are asking for a quote or it's actually sending out your invoicing, put on your schedule that thing that you put off the most and put it as early in the day as you can. And here's why. I read a book, I think it's called Eat That Frog, and it talked about people who procrastinate. If you want to get away from procrastination, put things on your schedule early in the day that you've been putting off get it done. And now that sense of accomplishment of, yes, I did it. And it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. will now propel you throughout the day to check other things off your list. All right. So 
for you to make the most out of the next two weeks, the end of July, get out of the summer mode and into work mode is block off time. And you know what, if you're still in summer with your family and you're still got vacation time, that's okay. Block it off on your schedule, but set some time each day that you're doing things that are going to help you achieve your goals and make money. All right. So we're sleeping, we're eating, we're moving our bodies, and now we're working. When we're working, put different times, and it might be that every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you do a specific task at a certain time. It could be that every Monday at a certain time you do something. So when you look at your schedule and the things that you've got to get done, put it into a certain block of time. And if you make it a routine that it's every Monday at 10 a.m., then you fall into that, then that's what you do then. And now, yes, sometimes things will come up and you might have a delivery and have to do something at that time. But now you look at that and go, okay, well, I couldn't do it at 10, but I'm gonna go ahead and move it to four o'clock, all right? By having time blocking, by having a routine set up, you're going to accomplish more things. The other thing for those of you who work with a team of people, you are gonna set up a schedule for them and let them know what you expect for them to do and when they need to do it, okay? So if you work with a team, whether it's somebody that works for you part-time or full-time, set that expectation for them of, you know what, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're gonna post for me on social media by 10 a.m. Set those expectations, help them do time blocking, and say, you know what, when you're working on a certain task, the phone, turn it off. Put it on silent, put it in another room. One of the biggest things that eats up our time and keeps us from making our goals reality is our phone. This I'm speaking to you as a phonaholic. I'm a workaholic and I'm a phonaholic. We were just laughing about how my family was on vacation. And while we were on vacation, I actually invited four of my wonderful balloon friends to come hang out with us. And I did a hands-on day of teaching um, for two new people to the balloon industry, plus my wonderful instructors, Gail and Paul for Balloon Boss Pro Summit. They live nearby and they came and we just hung out and built balloons. And that's why I did like a fun little um, tip on how to do balloon decor in the pool one evening because I love what I do. Um, but this keeps me from doing as much as I can when I pay attention to it too much. So when I really want to get something done, like creating a new system for Balloon Boss Mastermind and creating this new boot camp and for creating the 90 day challenge, I put my phone away and I didn't respond to people and I just focused in on what I needed to get done and it got done so much faster than when I try to say I'm an expert at multitasking. Multitasking is a myth. Multitasking takes more time because when you look at one thing and now you switch to the other thing, your brain can't just go back and forth like that. Women, we think we are amazing multitaskers, but studies show that when we actually focus in on a task, even for five minutes to 15 minutes, you're gonna become more efficient at getting things done than if you're trying to do five things at once. So block out time. And if you are a person who has ADHD and short attention spans, then make your time box 15 minutes and say, you know what, I'm gonna work on this task for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna work on this task for 15 minutes. But during that 15 minutes, don't let anything else get in your way. Don't watch your um, blips on your computer for Facebook, turn off your notifications, turn off the ringer if you need to. That's what voicemail is for and email is for, is you can respond to that stuff later and don't feel guilty. So um, for those of you guys who are on with me live tonight, what questions do you have about dreaming big, creating a vision board, writing down your goals, and setting a time block for yourself? What questions do you guys have? Because the bottom line is, this is not all answer today, okay? <laughs> this is a start point. I want you guys to really spend some time thinking about your dreams, because if I spent all the time talking about breaking down all the action steps today, it wouldn't give you time to dream big and to think about some of the goals that you have, all right? So today, the number one commitment I want you to make is for you to write your goals and dreams down, create that bucket list, and then spend some time this week creating your vision board, okay? Because this is what helps me reach my goals, all right? 
and I've seen it work for so many other people. Debbie, um, who is in my Balloon Boss Mastermind program, just retired her husband five months early and she bought a van because she was following the things that we've talked about at retreat and the things that she learned through our mastermind program. She's got her vision board. She wrote her goals down and she knit them early. I was so excited for her. And I know you have the same abilities too, but you've got to write it down and make that plan. So again, anybody who's on with me now live, if you have questions for me about what I've shared so far, please type them. All right, and there we go. Is there any program or app I can use for doing my schedule? In my Balloon Boss Mastermind program, I have what's called a schedule for success. And what I've done is given people an example of some of mine, and then I've made it where it's a link in Canva where people can go and use that for their own. I know there are some apps out there for scheduling and let me look into that and I'll put it up in Balloon Coach Community. Um, um, apps for schedule. I'm writing myself a note so I don't forget. Um, so for me, I personally love having things written down because it seems to work better for me to have a checklist. So for me, I actually keep a journal and each day I write down my notes. And for those of the people who are coming into my 90 day challenge with Balloon Boss Mastermind, you're actually going to have a new journal that you can print off and use that gives you your um, gratitude, um, a motivation, um, inspiration for success. And then it gives you um, your action plan for the day for you to write down. So the people who are joining my mastermind program for that 90 day challenge will have access to that in a written format. And then also if you prefer to keep it on your computer as a um, Google doc, you can do that. Um, but I don't have an app yet, um, but I do have it set up to be a Google doc and for it to be um, something that you can write on. All right. So I want to talk about the steps to growing your thriving balloon business. It's you got those dreams. You're going to define your goals. You're gonna set an action plan. You're gonna have that vision board with your law of attraction. You're gonna create your weekly schedule for success. You study the online training and modules that you've already paid for and any programs that you've ever been in. Take action on what you learn. And as you take action on what you learn, your confidence increases. You share your successes and struggles. That's what Balloon Bass Mastermind is all about, is the more we communicate and tell people what's going on, the more energy and momentum that goes. And each day I encourage you to take action and thrive. Here's the thing. If right now um, you're a person who's sedentary, who you have not been able to go and do balloon deliveries during the midst of social distancing, I don't expect that tomorrow you're gonna to be doing 100 deliveries, right? That's an unrealistic expectation. The thing is, is each day we take one step forward. So I don't want anyone to ever feel overwhelmed of, oh, I didn't spend 10 minutes writing my bucket list and I don't know what I want. <laughs> as long as you have one thing, one dream, then that's a starting point. And then later on by writing a journal, things will come to you as you have successes and as you do things that you'll now have other things that you add to your bucket list. A bucket list is not a one and done thing. A bucket list is an attitude where over time you're like, oh, there's other things that are possible and really cool things that I can explore and do in my life. And you keep going for it. So I never want people to feel like writing a schedule for success and writing down your goals is something that should take five hours. It's something that's a real quick five to 10 minute activity to hit the main things that you need to do for the week and to help you monitor. So now you can say, you know what, at the end of this week, I did these five things or just the end of your day. Wow. I accomplished two things today. Rock on tomorrow. I can do another one. Or maybe I got one goal done. I got out of bed, took a shower and got dressed. You know, that might be the goal and congratulate yourself for it. You know, it's Again, it's not a competition against other people, but it's you taking one step forward each day. And the thing is, is the bigger and faster you want your business to grow, the more that you need to put into your daily schedule. So if you're a person who has a high financial goal and right now your income is lower than you want it to be, then you're going to need to make more phone calls outbound to talk to 
people that you want to work with and to talk to people that you want to network with. You're going to have to take more action to grow faster. But if you're on a slow path and slow and steady, it's okay just to do a little bit. But the more that you block out your schedule, put the time for yourself, put the time for your family, and put the time for your business in a very structured manner, you're going to develop more time to be able to relax. One other thing that I want to talk about real quick, because I've been seeing this topic in um, Facebook and talking to some of my mastermind members, is the um, realities of getting burnt out, okay? If you are feeling burnt out, then it's time to take a vacation, even a staycation, even an hour long meditation or a massage or treat yourself to something good to eat or um, a walk in nature. Whatever makes you feel good, you need to put into your schedule and relax. You as a balloon boss are not expected to answer the phone 24 seven and answer every email directly. As a balloon boss and having a balloon boss mindset, it's about setting limits and saying, you know what, I'm not available for that delivery at 5 a.m. because I have an appointment. You know what, my appointments that I've got a uh, meeting with my personal trainer, they don't need to know that. It's an appointment, all right? Um, no, I can't do that delivery at five o'clock tonight. I have an appointment. That appointment is that I have dinner with my family. It's okay to put you, yourself, and your family first and then to have your people work around you, your customers. And if you find that your customers need you at times you're not available, then it's time for you to look into hiring and training somebody to work for you to do the job, all right? That's how a balloon boss works, is that they make time for themselves and their family and their lives so they've got the energy to devote to their customers. I made the mistake. And in 2003, I didn't know any of this information, 2005, 2010. All right. It took me a long time to find out more about the attitude of having time blocking where we make ourselves the priority. But I had let myself just do everything with my business and I really neglected myself and my family. And that's how I got to be 200 pounds overweight because I made excuses of, oh, I only have time to drive through fast food rather than, oh, I can pack healthy foods and have it in a cooler in my car while I'm going to do a delivery. There's always an excuse and there's always a solution. And I encourage you guys to use time blocking to create the life, the lifestyle, and the business that you dream of. It doesn't happen overnight. It's not always the easy journey, but you deserve to be happy, to enjoy time with the people that you love. And we are people who make people smile, right? We help make people smile. We bring joy to the world every day through our balloons. We help uplift and inspire the world to be a better place and to show other people how much they're loved and cared for. But to bring those smiles to others, we have to bring the smile to ourselves first, or we're not going to have the energy to do our job long term. Burnout is a real thing. So to help you keep from having the burnout, I encourage you to create your weekly schedule for success. Write down those dreams and your goals, break them into small pieces. And if you need help in that journey, come hang out with me for our Balloon Boss Mastermind program. I am closing the doors for the first time ever for my program. What that means is if you don't sign up by August 3rd, you will not be able to be in my mastermind program for the next three months. Because what I'm gonna do is focus my attention on this 90 day thrive challenge to walk everybody through a system of making sure they focus on their schedule for success, for extra tips for being efficient with extra um, support systems to help them see success faster. And then what will happen is we'll open the doors up again for that first Monday in November. And then that's when we'll do another 90 day challenge and people can stay with me in mastermind because they're going to see what they had accomplished in the last 90 days and be ready to kick into gear for the next 90 days. So my mastermind members can stay with me as long as they want, but 
I, because of the training I've taken, I have found out that I need to close the doors and not let people just join in anytime they want, but to set that time frame that for 90 days we work together to help you take the next steps in your business by setting up your schedule for success and by doing your time blocking. So, um, is there anything that I shared tonight that seems like it's impossible to do? So I want you to guys who are on with me right now, I want you to write, is this impossible? Yes or no? <laughs> it is not impossible. It is possible. You are possible. You can create more time in your day by time blocking. And I want you guys to have success like you've never seen before. So here's the thing. If you are not a part of my Balloon Boss Mastermind program, I invite you to go to ballooncoach.com click on Balloon Boss Mastermind, pay $47 today to have access immediately to my training and my mastermind group coaching program. We're gonna do a boot camp for the next two weeks so that we are ready on August 3rd to kick off the 90 day challenge. And the reason I'm doing the 90 day challenge is they find that in business goals and fitness and in anything in life that we wanna do, when we set up a system and we do something consistently for 90 days, it becomes a habit it becomes a routine and it allows us to have more success. So I've seen it work in my life, I've seen it work in other people's lives and I want it to work in yours. So that's why I've invested so much time and energy into training and into new systems to help you guys succeed. So I am delighted that you guys are part of my Balloon Coach Community Program on Facebook. I love those of you who have gone ahead and already with me in the Balloon Boss Mastermind Program and are taking these steps together. I can't wait to see what the results are at the end of October and the things that people are going to accomplish and transform over those next 90 days. It's going to be exciting. So thank you for all of you who've joined me live tonight on this training. And for those of you who watch it later as a replay, to find out more about my programs, go to ballooncoach.com. And you can always email me if you have specific questions, joette at ballooncoach.com. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this. Share your vision boards with us on Facebook. If you're in Balloon Boss Mastermind, that's where you'll share it. If you're in Balloon Coach Community, you'll share it there. And then as we go through this process, dig into the schedule for success and don't be afraid to ask questions because you, my friend, you deserve to make your goals and dreams a reality by taking one step forward each day. And it's by stepping outside of fear and taking action anywhere where you're gonna see the most success. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this. I'm Joette with ballooncoach.com and I enjoy being your partner in success. Do one thing today that your future self will thank you for. <laughs>